What's up guys? Well, I finally got my SP120s in to put on my uh, 295X2. Uh, if you're wondering what those silver things are back there, you'll find out later in this video. But anyway, I decided to get those because I figured that AMD kinda gave you a kinda mediocre fan for a $600 graphics card. Well, originally a 1500 graphics card. They probably could have, you know, had some fan like that. And obviously not two of them, but just one of those would have been a nice, better option when you're paying that much money. But anyway, fixed that anyway. Got a two-pack of these. I'm going to try and run them on uh, push-pull. Just because there's like $30 for two of them, and I couldn't get to just one of them. Like, the one-packs were sold out everywhere that I looked. Well, everywhere that wasn't like grossly overmarked. But anyway, I've already got my computer down there. Murphy's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, let's uh, put these on in there. All right, well the fan I was using was a Gentle Typhoon AP15. Very nice fan. Very, very nice. But I took this from my Intel rig's uh, radiator, so I'm going to go put that back on there. I was just borrowing it since I haven't been using that computer much ever since I started using my AMD rig. Especially now that I have this card. But I'm also wondering if maybe I should just combine my computers together, use like the Intel C for the CPU and use that as a GPU, but I don't think that the CPU and G or my two CPUs are that far apart, obviously other than the... 8320 having a little less single core performance than Intel. The multi core was actually a little faster than my Core i5, and they're both at the same 4.6 gigahertz. But anyway, let's uh, let's get these in there. If I even can, I need to try to fit it down here. It's probably hard to see, but there is my power supply cables. I would have just put it up here, but unfortunately this thing sits up a little bit too high. It's literally like a couple of millimeters too tall. So I had to put it at the bottom and I have it exhausting out the bottom and that's why I've got those standoffs, which you'll see the computer standing on them after I get it all put together if it all ends up working. So anyway, let's get this uh, started. All right. Well, we got the uh, we got the SPs in there. Unfortunately, I could not fit this any other orientation. It has to sit that way with the tubes all like that, cause it's too wide. It'll hit all the little uh, things on the back there. Heck, it was already tough enough to get this fan in here. It took me a while, but it's in. So let's see if it turns on. Uh, we got some gurgling noises. Probably just air bubbles and whatnot. Okay, that one's definitely spinning. I think the bottom one's spinning. Yeah, it has a clicky noise. Anyway, so there's that. Now let's just go see what some of its temps are. Alright, well, idle temps obviously are about the same, but I wasn't expecting the idle temps really to go down any. They don't really matter as long as it's not idling at freaking 100 degrees Celsius, I don't really care. So now let's run some, I'm just going to play a game or something for a little while and see what it heats up to. Alright, well after playing for a while, we've got uh, 60 and 62, Fifty-nine. It bounced between 59 and 60, and the other one's 62 for GPU 2, so that's a pretty good test. Keep in mind this is only... This is only Diablo 3. It's not the most crazy test in the world, but... 
I'll probably run another couple of games here and see if it gets any hotter. I'll try some Witcher 3. That'll be a much better test. Alright, I've been playing The Witcher for a little bit here. Let's see. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Alright, you guys probably can't make that because my camera refuses to focus, but we've got 62 and 65. So 62 on GPU 1 and 65 on GPU 2. So that's a lot better. Before it was getting up to 74, like 70 and 74. It was pretty crazy that even with the General Typhoon, it was still getting really close to its max temp. But this game is absolutely awesome now on this card. Plays great. Almost always 60 frames a second. It dips down every here and again, but that might just be my processor bottlenecking it. I have no idea. But. I would say the two fans were definitely worth the $32. That definitely dropped the temps quite significantly. But now it's time for some overclocking, so that'll be the next video. So till then, peace out, guys.